Okay, yo, what up? Okay, yo, what up? It is Rasmus here. And this time we're bringing old photos to new life with two models. Uh, one is called the Oldify and the other one is called DFDNet. These are both available as open source and they both have Google Colab notebooks available. So it is really easy to make this. <clears throat> so you can follow this tutorial and make this yourself. So let's get started. So first we need to find these models. So first let's look for the oldify. So just Google the oldify and the select this one from Chantic, this the oldify. And once you scroll down, there should be available this image stable link to Colab. And this is our first one. And we will leave this for now. So let's look for the other one. So it's called DFDNet. So select this one from the top. And this one uh, does the like image super resolution, uh, so basically upscaling and making finer details to a colorized uh, portrait image. And to find the no uh, collab notebook for this one, you need to go to the issues, then type collab. Then click closed and from here maybe we can find out that somebody made a Google Colab out of this. So really tremendous effort by Hopper. So let's open that one also. And from here select this one and open in Colab. So what we're about to do is that we take some old portrait image, so an image with face, and then we turn it from black and white image to a colorized image with the oldify. And then we use this DFDNet to upscale and bring this high resolution image to life. So Let's now look for some old portrait images. And I have not tested with any of these, but well, actually, I have tested this one. This is the one in the beginning, but let's take. Let's take this one, for example. So let's save this image to my downloads directory for now. And let's call it example pick. So it's now in my downloads directory. And then let's go to the deoldify and first Make sure that you have the hardware acceleration as GPU. And my menu is in Finnish. So uh, you need to select this one. I don't know. Remember, I guess this was runtime or something like that. And then select or see this that your runtime is GPU. So if it isn't, you need to change this one and restart this notebook instance. So this is really easy. What we do here, we just basically run all the cells from top to bottom. So let's start. So here we clone the repo and press this one. So it, you declare that you trust this notebook.
now we have it cloned then we change directory to that repo then we define some things that we are using gpu and we check that we have torch library available so because it didn't print that this one so we have now gpu available and then let's install the dependencies so so this is from the github repo they provide the requirements file and this installation process requires restarting the runtime so press restart runtime and then click yes and once we do the restart let's see where we are in the directory so we are in root So let's run this again. And see the the old file. Okay. Now we have installed the dependencies. We have the repo again and we are in the right path so we can continue further so now we should have fast ai and these libraries available so execute this cell next then we make a directory and download the model for this image transformation And this is quite big model 833 megabytes and it's now saved i don't actually know what why this is here the watermark png but here we set the model so we define our colorizer And then we have our image and to run these on images we're going to use this one and it's looking for images in the path test images so to open a folder in this notebook you press here and then let's go to deolify and test images so I need to put my images here so now I will look into my downloads folder and I have here dragged the image that we just downloaded and I put it here and press OK so this is just a declaration or statement that the image will disappear once this uh, notebook instance is rebooted so there we have our picture now and then we need to change the name here so we had example pick dot gpick and then let's also change these factors so it runs faster so there is this mm, render factor that changes how the uh, colorization behaves and I have tested this that much that usually between 10 and 20 it isn't that good so let's just put between 20 and 30 and and increment it always by 2 so the render factors goes like 20 22 24 26 28 and 30 so only five times 
So let's run that now. Okay, it states that there is no such file. Okay, I had an error there. Uh, make sure that you open this whole path and make sure that the path is root, deoldify, test images, and then your picture. So be careful with that. And let's now run this. Okay, we're getting the pictures now. So as you can see, we're getting pictures from render factor 20 all the way to 28. And let's just pick one out of these, so let's download this one. So I will call it the oldified. And it's now in my downloads directory. So now we can go on to the DFDNet. And I had it already opened, so let's run this one. Again, we clone the repo. Yes, we accept. Then we make few directories. And here's the tricky part. So first we need to mount our own G drive to this notebook instance. So I will show how that goes. So here we need to open this URL. I will select my email. Yes, I accept. And then from here copy this uh, code to your clipboard. And then paste it here and then press enter. So now our uh, G drive is mounted at G drive. And in this step we need to make the shortcuts to our own G drive. So it will in that way easily enable for us to uh, use the DFDNet. So so let's open this one. This will open the shared DFDNet folder. And then you need to move back to share it to me or something like that. Then look for the DFDNet, select that. Uh, then press with your right mouse key and then Look for this symbol, uh, add shortcut to your drive and place it in directly to your drive and then press uh, this add shortcut. But I have already done it so I won't press here but you need to do it to be en enabled to continue. Okay, after you have done that you can run this cell. Why we do it this way is because those files are quite big and then we don't actually need to download those to our drive but this makes it through the shortcuts possible that we can use uh, these files as if those were in our drive. Okay, that took some time. Then run this cell. I don't know exactly uh, why this library is used, but just run it and go on. Okay, so then we change directory to the DFDNet face landmark detection and then we run setup 
that py install so we install some tools for this and it was quite fast and then we move on to installing installing not installing but actually running this model but before that we need to put our image to the correct path and the correct path is once again we go from this uh, folder symbol here then you open the dfd net then test date and test hole and these are here originally and i'm going to add this deoldified picture here so I drag it from my downloads folder to here and press OK. And then we will run this. And this will take time, so I will again pause this video for a moment. Okay. That took some time and our results are here in the results test hold results folder. So let's look for those. And we want the final results and let's see our final result. And for comparison I'm going to save this first. And let's try to have all these three lined up, so... Well, some improvement. The model also cleared the image at least it seems so to me. And the face is now bright and we can see some red also in the face, so in the lips and I think this looks quite great. So this was short demo how I did this and hopefully you can follow this also and please Leave me a maybe comment, a like, maybe subscribe if you want to see more of these. And you can also send me your transformation, uh, image transformation. Uh, maybe we are Twitter or, or in Facebook. So that's all for this time.